the 8 by 2 litre cascade system. For this you will need 8 2 litre cascade canisters. one 2-litre standard black top liner and seven 2-litre cascade blue top liners. You also need seven cascade tubing sets and the reusable cascade tubing kit for the eight position cascade stand. Start by putting all of the eight canisters into position. Attach the cascade tubing set to the suction controller, then starting with the first canister to the left of the controller, push the first connector into the back of the canister and continue until all are connected. Attach the remaining four connectors into the back of the bottom row of canisters. The first liner to be put in position is the black lid standard liner, which is placed to the left of the suction controller. Then, place the remaining three blue lid cascade liners into position pushing them down into the canisters firmly. Then moving to the bottom canisters, the first blue cascade liner is placed beneath the top mounted blue cascade liner. Then place the remaining three blue cascade liners into position, pushing them down into the canisters firmly. Connect the black vacuum tapered connector to the black lid standard liner. Starting at the top mounted black lid liner, and working round to the last blue liner, connect the cascade tubing. Then, at the last blue lid cascade liner mounted on the top row, connect the tubing to the bottom cascade liner, working round to the last blue liner. Open both siphon taps on the tubing kit. Switch on the vacuum and set to high. Wait until all the liners have expanded into the canisters. Now connect the patient tubing to the first blue cascade liner mounted on the bottom row. The system is now ready for use and will commence to fill and cascade. After use, while the vacuum is still switched on, start by removing the patient tubing and sealing the first patient port with the connector located at the front of the liner. Then remove the cascade tubing from the vacuum port and seal with the yellow connector located on the liner. Continue until you reach the final black top liner. Seal the patient port and switch off the vacuum and remove the black vacuum connector. There is no need to cap off the vacuum port on the black lid liner due to the hydrophobic filter located within the liner. Using the convenient handles on each liner, start to remove them from the canisters. The Vaxax back to clear antimicrobial liners stand upright when full of fluid for convenient and safe disposal.